100 days in hardcore mo i mean ultra hardcore yeah we all know what ultra hardcore means but to refresh your memory it means you can't regenerate health naturally instead you have to heal using golden apples or health potions however the health part isn't the only thing that's ultra about this there's so many mobs with special abilities that can just one shot me also whatever this thing is a moon blade i don't i don't know i am a very big space fan i am i am a fan of the space if i see a weapon titled moon blade i'm 100 downloading it and i will use it it has cool powers or something like that and bro there's there's also, uh, in the script it says there's a cool glove. I don't know what that means. Apparently I can craft a cool glove. What, are my hands cold? I don't, I'm confused. But, um, yeah, stick around to find out what I craft. There's a whole bunch of cool stuff in here, so. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and let's get into it. Day one, ba-blam, I spawned in. Yeah, your boy is here. Immediately I grabbed some wood from this tree. I needed tools. You know how we do, we waste no time in these parts. I was on a mission, and that mission, to survive. Yeah, I needed tools for that. Um, here we are. After I got the stone, I got a full set of tools and started exploring. I am nowhere near used to this 1.18 world generation. This, this cave? Whew. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, my brothers. I don't know what's wrong with me. I thought about going down there, and then I realized, you know, it's not a good idea. I don't regen. Just, just stay out of the caves. Stay out of them. Fishy, fishy in the brook. I'm finna catch you with a hook on the hundredth day. Y'all better be running, y'all. After staring into the eyes of death at that cave, I started wandering around looking for a village, and yeah, I found a village and also found myself down a heart. I, I'm s man all right cut me a break cut me a break listen don't don't start in the comment get out of the comments you don't gotta comment that i fell already you don't gotta do it i forgot i i forgot i don't read you i forgot i'm sorry y'all already know i'm about to steal every single hay bale in this place that's just how it is it's bread season baby we on the come up i walked into this one house at the village and there was just this baby villager jumping up and down on the bed my parental instincts kicked in. get off the bed why is he looking he's literally get off get stop you're done you are done i broke his bed and he eyed me up and down yo what is going on you finna go tell his mama on me yo this crazy i ransacked this guy's house and i came back downstairs and he was on the other bed yeah he knew how i felt he ran out the door he seen me come down the steps hook off I had made a couple pieces of bread and tried to sleep for the night when suddenly I was ambushed by this insane enderman. He's sparkling. I ran for my life inside this house. He was hitting me through walls, bro. What am I supposed to do? I ran to go grab my bed that I left outside. There was no way I was staying awake throughout this whole night with this enderman. No. This guy is terrifying, bro. Why? How can he do that? The enderman teleported away and I got the chance to sleep in the bed. Jesus, bro. I need to get out of here now. God, yeah, I ran from that village. No more. Y'all got that. That's all yours. Y'all could keep that Enderman. Imagine the Enderman was the baby villager who went through his villain origin story. Bro, <laughs> I made him stop jumping on the bed and he came back as an angry Enderman. Nah, nah. Yeah, um, I don't really want to talk about that. I, I'm one hit away from dying. You could, you could on me and I would explode. After running from the village, I explored some more. I found a desert temple and a ruined portal next to each other. Both of these things have golden apples, so I'm pretty excited. When I walked into the temple, it was already broken. Bruh, come on. What is going on in here? He has a skeleton! Nope! Nah! I ran. I left. Booked it. I was gone. I ran straight to the portal, and it had two gold blocks. Not only that, but when I opened the chest, there was an enchanted golden apple. I could literally regen the full health now. But bro, the two gold blocks, that's two gaps right there. Unfortunately, I didn't have any iron for an iron pick to grab them, but I can find another village and come back. And that's where this neat thing comes in handy. In Lunar Client, there's a mod for waypoints. I set a waypoint, so that way I was able to come back anytime I wanted to. I was really debating on whether or not I should eat the gapple now or wait until later, and I chose now because if I didn't get the chance to eat it, I would be very upset. It sucks that I have to eat this too because I need 10 of them in order to craft the moon sword that I really, really want. Yell at me all you want. Yes, I was mining this coal. No, I don't care. It was above lava. I needed it. After I mined the coal, I found a village. This village had a blacksmith, and inside the chest, there was an iron pick. I couldn't ask for anything better. This is, this is YouTuber loot. I grabbed everything in the chest and immediately went back to the ruined portal. I had enough for apples. I could feel the health boost as I crafted these apples. Nothing can hold me back. I'm so strong. I walked for like 2,000 blocks. And I think I found a place I like enough to stay. Yep, this is where I will build a base. After marking my territory with my chest, I swam across the little river to the burning forest. I started mining trees right next to the flames. I don't have an explanation for this. I'm, I'm sorry. I was taking no chances. I'm sleeping as fast as possible. There will not be another Enderman incident.
The next day, like any other day, I woke up and made a stupid decision. I wasted damn near all the wood I got on fence. Why? I don't know. To be fair, there are a lot of animals. I could just make a little farm thing, but that's just it not wasn't on my mind. I don't know why I did this. So I had to collect more wood. Also, while getting some wood, I went down and got some cobble. I don't know what kind of base I'm building yet, but I figure I need some cobble. Before I started building my base, I made a little farm with wheat seeds and potatoes. They call me Farmer Brown. <laughs> Trial and error, trial and error, the way of life, it's just, it's, you just, you can't even escape into the game. I hated everything I was doing with this house, and then I had the best idea out of nowhere. What they gonna do if I take away two walls? Literally nothing. I even came up with this cool looking chest design, I mean, I've never done anything like this before, but I like it. Ain't this the coolest base? Come on, come on. You ain't never seen something like this. This is like top tier, top quality building right here. Somebody tell Green to log off. I'm here now. It's all right. The next day, I started making a farm. I was going to gather all the animals into one big giant pen. There's no way I'm making a square pen. These animals need room to roam. After setting up the farm, I went out exploring a little bit. I was trying to find some villages or maybe a desert temple so that I could get some more gold. If you've watched my older videos, you know I'm very educated in Minecraft UHC and two gapples. I no, I'm used to two stacks. Forget about that, though. Look at this cave, bro. Look at this. What is this generation? After wandering around for a little bit, I found another village. Taking the hay bales, taking the hay bales. Not only did I confiscate the hay bales, but I also beat the heck out of the golem. Give me the iron, buddy. Give me the iron. I know you got at least five on you. <laughs> he, he had five of them. He actually did have five. I didn't forget to grab a saddle so I could get a horse. There was no way I was walking all across this earth. Ain't no way. Check this guy out. I'ma name him. I'ma name this horse Louis Vuitton. You know how it is. It's little Louis V. Hey, Louis. Me and Louis -ish stumbled upon a ruined portal, see? Wasn't really much here, see? You get a little golden sword with mending, a couple pieces of gold, you call it a day. I promise I looked around for the gold blocks. I couldn't find any. I'm upset. What's a guy gotta do to get some gold blocks, bro? Come on. My boy Louis here, he's afraid to swim. He doesn't know how. I had to push him across this river. Literally an oaf. He's just not moving. After finding a desert, I found another desert temple, and this time I was careful. The first one I found had already exploded, so this time, I was making sure this one was not going to explode. I was about to open the chests, and then I noticed a red ring around them. These were trap chests. Ain't no way! I started digging up the ground, making sure- Look, there's extra TNT under this. Who put this here? Who did this? What kind of sick and twisted individual- Yo, come on now. I had gotten two golden apples, another saddle, and some horse armor. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Wish it was a god apple, though. Me and Mr. Vatan found a village. I won't lie, I forget what happened in this village. Oh, that's right! Look at how I killed this iron golem. Yeah, he was scared of me. He wasn't coming through. He didn't even try to find a way. He's just- He was taking it. I started styling on him. Check me out. Electro shuffle spin back! I found another village while I was on my way back to the house, and this one had some iron in the chest and an iron pick. Definitely taking those. Also, I guess I'll put this helmet on. The gold helmet, it doesn't really matter. It's all the same. And of course, I had to take care of their golem. Listen, it's iron. I'm not going in the caves yet. Someone needs to teach this guy how to swim. I've had enough. Ooh. 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 Once I was back at the house, I sorted all my chests and started gathering the animals. It was only sheep and cow for right now, but that's okay. I was running around looking for some more animals when I found this random thing in the water. I had no clue what it was, but I was gonna go find out. I assumed it had something to do with the drowns, but I don't think so. This didn't look like something that was in Minecraft. Let me know in the comments if it is something from normal Minecraft. I just, I don't know. I did find a chest in here, though. Inside the chest had a fishing rod that had luck of the sea on it. My 100th day was gonna be beautiful. Ah, yes, the birds and the bees. These are sheep and cow. What do you mean? Wait, that says the parrots and the bats. You know what? I'm... Everything I know is a lie. I decided to test out my luck of the sea fishing rod. I was expecting enchanted books. I was expecting cool fish. No, I got the most basic stuff you could think of. And a rotten flesh. Just like everybody else in the new version, I started off by making my own mine and then got bored halfway through. I went out looking for a cave. There was no way I was going to do this safe. If I was doing it, I'm doing it. I'm warning y'all now. I turned shaders off at some point. I literally can't see anything. And I have pretty bad eyes, so it, it, this is a problem. I stumbled into a mine shaft and found a golden apple in the chest. This mine shaft was already looking pretty good. Hey, let's go. I found some diamonds and then out of nowhere I started getting shot at by a skeleton. Bro, there's mobs everywhere. I can hear them. I wish I had my microphone on because I was literally screaming. I didn't want to take any damage, bro. I know I have seven gaps, but come on. In a world where I need them to survive, I'm, I'm going to be upset if I only have seven. I am literally getting jumped by skeletons right now. Skeletons that are strapped. They stay strapped. Skeletons can't shoot from this angle, so I had three hits on them. These boys don't stand no chance. 
I was fighting for my life to light this cave up, bro. Look at this. I put down so many torches and it did nothing. I'm still staring into the abyss. Fighting for my life to light this place up. Fighting for my life to get this diamond. I don't know what else to do. Finally got my pickaxe on this diamond and it fell into another part of the mine shaft. No. Beating this zombie up. Thank God he wasn't a special mob. I wasn't taking any chances. I grabbed the diamond and dipped. Yeah, this is where I turn shaders off. I'm sorry. I can't see. When I go back up to the surface, I'll turn shaders back on. Ah, never mind, bro. Look at all these zombies. They're so ugly. I don't want to see them. They're making me waste all my healing. Is this even worth it? Probably not, to be honest. I'm down to five gaps now. My health supply is not looking very good. Having a panic attack? We're cool. It's fine. Forget about the ugly mobs for a second. We got some diamonds. Hey. Hey. I made a diamond pick, and then shortly after, I got jumped by a cave spider. Of course, it poisoned me, so I'm losing health by the second. Oh, this thing is lucky I have gaps, I swear. After being greatly wounded, a zombie decided to come and beat me up. Come on, cut me a break. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. I need this lapis to make the, uh, that, that special glove thing. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. I completely forgot that Lunar Client had a Fulbright thing. I was walking around the cave with some torches. I'm just, I'm just, I, I'm not very smart. I'm sorry. This guy got some fresh designer on, bro. Look at these gold pants. I almost felt bad for killing him. He was really dripped out. Also, I was actually starting to find some gold. I don't know, something about the new world generation. I feel like I never get gold unless it's in different biomes or it's easily found in different biomes. I don't know. I was on my way back home when I forgot to grab obsidian, so I had to walk all the way down. I'm just gonna cut that part out. I had to walk all the way back down from the surface to get this obsidian. And as I was mining it, I remembered that I had a lava pool next to my house I could have just got the obsidian from, but... Hey, man, I, it's all about the adventure. Stupid, stupid, stupid! While I was tunneling up, I found an amethyst geode thingy, whatever the hell these are called. I remember that for the powerful glove, I would need amethyst shards. I forget how many. I think it's actually only one, but just to be safe, I grabbed a whole bunch of amethyst. Look at me, I'm becoming so rich! I made sure to leave out enough of the ores so that I could make the glove with them. Turns out I really only did need one of each ore, but that means I need a netherite ingot. That means it's time to pack your bags, boys! We're headed to hell! I mean the nether. And before I went to the nether, I made an enchanting table. I'm not sure if I should enchant my armor now or wait until later, but I have no books yet, so... Is it really even worth it? Of course, nothing comes without a price. I took damage while building the portal. I... I... I Cut me a break, give it a rest. Most of the time, it just leaves my mind that I can't take damage. Genuinely messes me up. But hey, look, it's a pretty portal. I really gotta build something. I can't be lazy about this. I gotta, I gotta, I wanna build something for this. Or at least make it look good, something. This is the most annoying part of the game when you don't have enough levels for level 30 enchants. You gotta level one enchant everything and they're just stupid enchant. I hate them. But there's no time to worry about that. It's time to go into the nether. God, bro, it's hotter than a witch's in here. As soon as I stepped foot in the nether, I started grabbing as much gold as I could find. I know I've been saying it throughout the entire video, but I really, really, really care about the gold. Plus, if I get enough, maybe I can trade with some piglins to get some ender pearls so I can make eye of enders so I can get to the stronghold and kill the dragon, but I'm not killing the dragon until I get my cool weapons and it it's a process, really. I want to be able to just completely, like, dominate the dragon, okay? I'm going to get to that point. And honestly, I really only need the one thing to do that. But that's what we're working for right now. Don't, 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 come on, bro, no. I think it's stupid that the water bucket doesn't work. I need fire resistance potions, I've had enough. After wandering around for a little bit, I found a bastion, and it didn't take long before a super buff mob started chasing me. I think it's a skeleton with netherite armor. I don't know, we're about to fight, though. Come on, punk. It was a lot easier than I thought, to be honest. Maybe it wasn't netherite. I don't know. Honestly, I wasn't really worried about a skeleton in armor. I'm only worried about the brutes. My power one isn't that strong, and I don't have a very good sword. Should have made some diamond tools. I had enough. I'm telling you, this is the strat. This is the strat. If you ever get chased by some brutes or piglins, start pillaring up. They can't hit you, and you can smack them around. I don't even know why I tried to challenge this guy. It was... It's just pointless. <laughs> so, I got a new keyboard, and I... <laughs> My fingers kept hitting every single button that they couldn't- that they shouldn't be hitting. It just- it was so hard to pillar up. Had to readjust my hand four times, it still didn't work. Anyway, I took care of the brutes and started looting the bastion. It's a good nether run when you find pigstep. I climbed up the side of the bastion to get a better angle and I was met by some stronger mobs. This guy had nothing on my shield. BANG! Once I got to the top of the bastion, I found a piglin with an enchanted axe. He was shooting fireballs at me. Nah, bro, you're staying way back there. A sharp four iron sword? Give me that. And a diamond helmet? Yes, sir. Some ancient debris. We got some gold. Everything's looking good. 
I used some of the gold I found to make some more gapples. It felt good having a decent amount of gaps. There's a part of the recording that paused and I ended up in a nether fortress. Um, nothing really happened except for probably one of the most important parts of this game. I have a data pack in this world that makes chests like OP and I found two blocks of netherite. And I'm absolutely using it. If you're getting mad at me, if you're mad at this, take a walk. I saw this cool looking shrine thing at the nether fortress. I've never seen one of these things before, so I think it's a boss. Mm, should I go fight it? This is definitely not a good idea. I hate the nether. I hate it. I hate the fire. I hate not regening. I hate, I hate this. Sorry, excuse me. I'm eating a pop tart right now. Um, out of nowhere, this boss spawned in and then right afterwards it had some crazy sounded music. I, mean, I assumed it was death music. Simply put, I was expecting this music to be the last thing I heard before an explosion hurtled towards my face, sending me into the afterlife. I can't even fraud right now. This thing was really hard to kill and it took a long time. He threw fireball after fireball after fireball and each one of them hit. Luck is definitely not on my side and I don't have unlimited healing. I even rotated and switched positions like I'm playing Fortnite, bro. I tried to get different angles on this guy. It it took forever. After a while of getting lit on fire over and over and over again, he finally died. And as prize for claiming the head of King Blaze, a helmet for my own head protection. This thing gave you strength too if you were low on health, and I'm definitely low on health. I'ma need that strength, Lord give me. I am done with the nether for right now. I'm on two hearts, I wanna go back home. Also, kind of excited, I have everything I need to make my super awesome glove. Now, where in the- what is this? Where's my waypoint? Do I really not have a waypoint anymore? Oh, come on. I'm gonna have to find my own way back home. I think it's somewhere in the negative 3000s. I'm mad. I made it out of the jungle and into a nearby village. There wasn't really much in this village, but I've never seen one like this before, so I stayed for a little bit. And then eventually got bored. Ah, but it's okay because my boredom was very short-lived. Right after I left the village, I found a pirate ship. Arr, where be the flying Dutchman's treasure? <laughs> Bro, I forget that I have these voices all the time. She, if y'all need a voice actor, let me know. I can even hit y'all with the shaggy. Like Zoink Scoob, we're on a pirate ship. <laughs> Anyway, there wasn't really anything cool in here, but there was a block of gold, so I could make another gap. I was getting ready to leave the pirate ship when I found something sticking out of the water. I couldn't help it, I had to go look at it. It kind of looked like a mine shaft, but I couldn't tell from far away. Let's just say this was a mistake. I don't know what I hit, but I hit something somewhere, and uh, uh, explosions, TNT! Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! Now, what the hell, man? What was that? Am I gonna get a chance to have more than two hearts for once, please? No, absolutely not. I'm not going in there. No, nope. Mm -mm. You can't make me. I'm going home. When I got back to my base, I made everything I had into netherite. Yeah, my boys, we about to be stacked. What's up with it? Now, whether we enchant them immediately or not, that's that's besides the point. Take the enchanting out of your mind. Because like right now, during this economy and this this current state of the, the economical situations of the planet, I really don't got the time or the care to get these books right now. I got, I got bigger fish to fry. And those bigger fish being the glove. To make the glove, you needed to get all these ores together and throw them in the ground all at once. Oh, I'm so excited. Excited. Here we go. A f what? Stop that ah, there. Okay, hey, listen. I didn't have the right. Yeah, it's Thanos's glove. I didn't have the right texture pack on. Shit. It's. Look at this. I. It's. It's got powers. I'll never die in this world. I will never die. If anything comes up to me, I can freeze it with the time stone. With the reality stone, I can turn hostile mobs into nice mobs. With the space stone, I could teleport. I could walk through portals. No wall could ever hold me back ever again. With the mind stone, I can control mobs. I can make them follow me and make them attack other things. And with the power stone, oh my god. Let me just. Let me just. Let me put this in the very simple terms. I don't think this dragon stands a chance. Full netherite with a Thanos gauntlet. Never thought I would see this day. I couldn't help myself but to mess with the gauntlet for the next few days. The power to teleport at the palm of my hands is just... It's too much power. I used my 200 IQ this time, I left the portal open at the top, so once I got into the temple, I could make another one to get out. In this temple, there were five god apples. Five! F-I-V-E, more than three, more than two, less than six, there was five. Hands down the coolest thing. I really wanted to eat a god apple again, but I needed to save them for my moon blade. Remember, the moon blade cost 10 enchanted golden apples and 10 stacks of diamonds. Oh my god, I still have so much work to do. Bruh, you know what? We're about to go to the nether again. I'm, I'm trying to see something. I have an idea. Uh, well, it's more of a question than an idea. I just, I, I, I want to figure something out. I got a few questions that need to be answered.
Yep, that answered the question. I used the time stone to stop the blazes from shooting me with fireballs. This is so OP. I could probably catch Enderman like this. I wonder if they could teleport out of it. Nah, there's no way. Everything freezes. I'm not gonna lie. I wandered around the nether for quite some time. I was only looking for a bastion just so I can abuse the mind stone and the power stone. And a little bit of freezing time here and there. And of course... When I got out of the nether, I figured I'd be enchanting. I don't know why, but I spent like a day and a half killing animals for levels. There are so many more efficient ways to do this. And then after my animal massacre, I found this cool pillager outpost. There wasn't really much in here aside from food and one lonely XP bottle. Never mind, there are a couple more XP bottles. <laughs> I forget what I do in this game as soon as I do it. I'm still a genius for making a portal outside and then making one inside for a quick escape. I was out exploring, playing with the glove for a couple days. No villages stood a chance. Every iron golem in sight was getting smacked with the power stone. I found another temple after messing with that iron golem. <laughs> I sent that guy to the moon. I was determined to get as many golden apples as I could. Not just golden apples, but enchanted golden apples as well. I want the moon blade and no one is gonna stop me. Damn near every single temple chest I opened had a god apple in it. I'm not complaining, but like, jeez. After I explored that temple, I found another one, and this one had some booby traps. There wasn't much in this temple aside from a few extra TNT that were trying to be used to kill me. I was getting bored of finding villages and temples. I decided to go back to the nether and start trading with piglins. I gathered a couple piglins, put them in a hole, and used the mind stone to get them to trade with me. Single-handedly controlling the minds of many with one glove upon my hand. It's so much power. One should not have this power. You know what? Honestly, the more I use this glove, I see why Thanos did what he did. He was right. We don't need half of you. Yeah, I just sat here for a couple days spamming the time and mind stone on these piglins. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I feel a little bad for this. But hey, if someone's controlling their minds, I'd rather it be me and not somebody else or the person that owns the mine. It's, this is bad. While I was killing the piglins that were frozen in time, I had killed one of the smaller ones and they just exploded with a whole bunch of gold. I'd, what? I mean, if it happened, then it's legit in the game and there's nothing y'all can say about it. I'm about to use all this gold. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna exaggerate with how much gold this was. Look at this. That's a lot of gold. That is a lot. I don't even have enough apples. I can't even use this gold. I don't have enough apples for golden apple. What, what am I gonna use all this gold for? What am I gonna do with this? It's not like the gold really mattered. I just wanted ender pearls so I could find where the stronghold is. And I got over a stack of them. Bruh, every time I step through the portal, my heart's reset. <laughs> I know it's a glitch. I'm not gonna fix it. I was out exploring when I saw a village getting overrun by pillagers. I can't stress how OP this time stone is. To just freeze everything around you? I'm literally father time. Wait, it's like it's not frozen. Everything's moving in slow motion. So does that mean I'm moving super fast if everything's in slow motion? I uh, Listen, who's to say? Use your imagination. I tried to flex on these pillagers because they can't teleport like me and I ended up almost dying. Yeah, that's enough fun and games. That is enough fun and games. We are done. I genuinely almost died with the gauntlet. How is that possible? <laughs> Yo, it's just launching TNT into his face, disguising it as a beam of energy. It's... <laughs> Look at what happens to potions when I freeze them in midair. The witch has no words. <laughs> How did he dodge it? This was the best one, though. I was too focused on the first one and almost got hit by the second one. They tried to pull the one-two switcheroo on me, almost got me with the second one. The first attack is just an illusion, type B. Come on, bruh. I watched Naruto. I'll never let my guard down. You got me chopped. For the next couple of days, I was back in the nether. I didn't do really much of anything in here. I was kind of exploring, but this was the highlight. Look at this. I killed this mob, and he almost killed me. Cut me a break, give it a rest. Yeah, left that place as soon as possible. Forget about that. I started getting antsy, so I began preparing to fight the dragon. I made some eyes of ender, collected some apples to make some more golden apples. Mind you, I have no apples. I have an exuberant amount of gold, though. And figured, you know what? I might as well go fight the dragon now. What's stopping me? Literally, what is stopping me? I have a, I have, I have the glood, I have the god glove in my hand. Who's gonna, what's gonna stop me? Once I was fully healed, I set off to go find the stronghold. On my way to the stronghold, I found a pirate ship. This one had some ugly looking pirates on it. Ew. Get up on out of here. Get up on out of here. I just froze them in time. It's not even worth killing them. It is literally not worth it. All this stuff is mine. All right, you know what? I quit. I'm done. I'm done. I'm gonna start mass producing these gloves and make a profit out of them because this is just amazing. This is the only way to travel. Who would need cars anymore? Nobody would need a car. Planes? Who cares? I'm just teleporting. Yeah, you better not have broken. You know what happened to the last one that broke on me? Yeah, it broke. I don't... There's nothing really much else to say about it.
I dug down until I found the stronghold and then started looking for diamonds. I still needed 10 stacks of diamonds, so my idea was to use the power stone. The power stone was gonna blow everything up around me except for the ores. Using the power stone, I managed to gather 39 diamonds. Yeah, that was not enough. Not even close. And while mining for these diamonds, I realized how long it would take and just kind of got bored. I just wanted to kill the dragon and I knew I could do it right now. I walked into the portal room and there was a, a chest. There, there was a chest. There was a, your guy, You guys are going to look at me like I'm crazy. You're going to be like, yeah, right, this guy. Look, I didn't make this world. Look. <laughs> Bruh. Guess he didn't think I was gonna mine the diamonds. He was right, but shut up. I did, however, bring diamonds with me because I, well, I was just mining. So I made a diamond sword and got ready to make the moon blade. Okay, I need the diamonds and the gapples to be thrown on top of the diamond sword. What? Where is it? Hello? Why is it up? What? Yeah, I don't know why this thing was in the wall, but e yoink. The moon blade, massive. This glove, insane. My armor, unenchanted. Me and the dragon, about to get it on. I can throw this sword like a boomerang. Nah, I need this in the game. I need this. I need this on a regular diamond sword right now. I've been spamming this gauntlet's power for the past, like... This dragon right off the bat hated me. It hated me. It wanted me dead. I almost died. I should have died. If I didn't start eating that gapple, I would have died. Yeah, Mr. Dragon, I like the taste of my power stone. Yes, sir. <laughs> this actually did a lot of damage. <laughs> I used the reality stone to turn the fireball into a... A bat. It turned into a bat. That is awesome. I figured I wouldn't mess around with this dragon too much because at any point in time I could just die. This dragon has some special powers as you can see. So I froze him in space and then, well then I started to monologue. Yeah you stupid dragon, remember all the times you killed me before on different worlds? You're going down this time, stupid st uh, wh What happened? Bro, what the hell? The game crashed, I, I literally can't get the world back. Um, I have tried everything to get this world to come back. I think the Moonblade and the Gauntlet just destroyed the entire game. I don't... I worked so hard to get both of... Well, not really the Moonblade so much, but... Look, it's just loading terrain. Come on, bro. <laughs> Why? Well, that was disappointing.